A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a significant escalation of violence in the region, Israel conducted an air strike on a Beirut apartment block on Monday, resulting in the deaths of four individuals. This attack marks Israel's first strike in the heart of Beirut since the onset of the Gaza War last year. The focus of Israeli military operations has notably shifted from Gaza to Lebanon in recent days, targeting Iran's regional allies. Just days prior, strikes on Hezbollah targets led to the death of the group's leader, Hassan Nasrallah, on Friday. The drone attack on Monday specifically targeted a flat belonging to Jama Islamiya, a Lebanese Islamist group, according to a Lebanese security source. Additionally, the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine, PFLP, a secular left-wing organization, reported that three of its members were killed in the same strike in the Kola district of Beirut. The victims included the military security chief, Mohammed Abdullah Al, military commander Imad Oday, and Abdulrahman Abdullah Al. In a statement, the Israeli military confirmed that it had launched fresh strikes on numerous Hezbollah targets in Lebanon's Baqa region. The military emphasized its intention to continue aggressive operations aimed at degrading Hezbollah's military capabilities and infrastructure in Lebanon. Television footage from the scene showed the devastation left by the strike, with the targeted building partially flattened in the predominantly Sunni neighborhood of Kola, which is situated along the main road connecting the capital to Beirut airport. Reports from AFP journalists indicated that drones were observed flying over the Lebanese capital throughout Sunday, contributing to an atmosphere of fear and uncertainty among the local population. Since last Monday, Israeli attacks have resulted in hundreds of casualties in Lebanon, marking the deadliest period since the country's civil war from 1975 to 1990. Lebanon's health ministry reported that at least 105 people were killed in Israeli strikes on Sunday alone with 359 others wounded. Over the past week, Israeli bombardments have claimed the lives of more than 700 individuals, including 14 paramedics within a two-day span. UN refugee chief Filippo Grandi reported that well over 200,000 people are displaced inside Lebanon, with more than 50,000 having fled to neighboring Syria. Prime Minister Najib Makati stated that up to 1 million people may have been uprooted, potentially resulting in the largest displacement movement in Lebanon's history. The ongoing Israeli aggression has raised alarms regarding the possibility of an all-out war in the Middle East. In addition to strikes in Lebanon, Israel also targeted Iran-backed Houthi rebel positions in Yemen on Sunday, with reports indicating that those strikes resulted in four deaths and 33 injuries. These air raids in Yemen followed a missile launch by the Houthis aimed at an Israeli airport, coinciding with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's return from New York. The Israeli military has stated that its operations in Lebanon are aimed at eliminating Hezbollah's leadership and its capacity to launch attacks against Israel. The airstrike that killed Nasrallah also reportedly eliminated another 20 Hezbollah members, including senior leaders. Another strike on Saturday was said to have killed Nabil Kauk, a member of Hezbollah's Central Council, although the group has yet to officially confirm his death. Analysts suggest that Nasrallah's death has left Hezbollah under significant pressure to respond. In light of the escalating violence, world leaders have called for de-escalation to prevent a broader regional conflict. French Foreign Minister Jean-Noël Barat met with Prime Minister Makati on Sunday night, making him the first high-level foreign diplomat to visit Lebanon since the intensification of Israeli strikes. Barat expressed Paris's desire for an immediate halt to Israeli military actions. Saudi Arabia's foreign ministry also released a statement early Monday, urging respect for Lebanon's sovereignty and territorial integrity. U.S. President Joe Biden, whose administration is Israel's primary arms supplier, emphasized the importance of avoiding a wider war. Pope Francis, when questioned about the Israeli airstrikes on civilians, remarked that a nation goes beyond morality when its defense is disproportionate to the attack it faces. Meanwhile, in Gaza, the Civil Defense Agency reported that Israeli strikes on Sunday resulted in additional casualties. Of the 251 hostages taken by militants, 97 are still being held in Gaza, including 33 that the Israeli military claims are deceased. The retaliatory military offensive by Israel has led to the deaths of at least 41,595 people in Gaza, predominantly civilians, according to figures from the Hamas-run territory's health ministry, 
which the UN has deemed reliable. As the situation continues to evolve, the international community remains on high alert, hoping for a resolution to the ongoing conflict and a return to stability in the region. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.